Hey gang, it's David again, back to you with yet another Oxygen tutorial. And in this one, we are going to take a look at Oxymade, which is a combination of a CSS framework and design sets and extended tools for Oxygen Builder. So if you've been wondering what is uh, like a good way to you know, quickly build better websites based on Oxygen, well, Oxymade might be a great choice for you. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to go through all the core elements of Oxymade so you can see for yourself how it can really help you in uh, building better websites uh, faster uh, in Oxygen. So here's a page that I've created with the Oxymade. You can see that we basically have all the uh, elements that we would uh, use in a typical uh, front page. And I've created all of those using the standard sets that come with Oxymade. So if we go to the Add menu here inside Oxygen, then we go to the Library and then Design Sets. Here we got all the sets that are available right now in Oxymade. And if we like, say, click on any of them, I'm using this capital, then sections and elements, you can see that in here we got the blog, call to actions, clients, all these, all these sections with, uh, with blocks and elements that you can easily use within your design. So actually, let's get started with Oxymade. So when you log into your dashboard, you got uh, these simple uh, three steps. So step one, install and activate the plugin at the domain and add design sets to your library. So uh, what I'm going to do first is, of course, I'm going to download the, the plugin and then I'm going to upload it to, to my page. But uh, before like I enter my uh, license key and then before I add the design sets to my, to my installation, I'm going to add my domain. And once that's done, we can actually install the plugin. So I'm going to upload the plugin from my hard drive. Of course, we need to activate it. And you will find that plugin under Oxygen and then Oxymade. So once the plugin is installed, I need to enter my license key. And then I'm going to activate the license. And once that's done, you can see that we got our dashboard right here. So before I start like designing anything, I'm also going to go to Oxygen Settings. And then I'm going to go to Library. And in here, I'm going to choose the Enable third-party design sets. And as you can see, I've already installed most of the design sets, but of course, not all of them. So we can actually see how to go to, the, uh, to our dashboard, copy the code, for instance, for this mega design set. Then I'm going to go to Oxygen. I'm going to click Add Design Set. And then I'm just going to paste that in. And our uh, design set, as you can see right here, is, is added to Oxymade. And actually, that's basically it. Everything is set up and we can start uh, creating our page. So I'm back on my website that I've uh, created simply by adding the blocks that you can create in the design sets. So in the add library and then design sets. But uh, before, you know, you start creating your site uh, right here, it's a, it's a good thing to know that uh, Oxymate comes with some standard oxygen settings. So if we go to manage and then settings, then if we go to like global styles, you can see that, uh, for instance, if we go to our headings, you can see that we already have set like values and colors for, for instance, our headings. So Oxymate uses min and max values instead of clamp because of the accessibility reasons. And also when you have like these color uh, names right here, so beneath each heading, if we go to our uh, dashboard, you can see that we have these guys right here on the on the right side. So these colors, these name colors, like dark color, correspond with the colors that you can find right here. So if you want to change those in your settings, you have to change them here first. So same goes for the, if we go to the sections and columns, you can see that they are also using the min and max for, um, for the section container padding and RAM spaces for, uh, for columns uh, padding. So what's also important to know is that whenever you click on any of these elements, you can see that there's actually quite a lot of uh, classes added to, well, most of these uh, elements. Of course, if we click on a class, it's going to be locked uh, by default, but we can also just unlock the class if we want to change some something about it. 
So with um, basically any uh, like frameworks or plugins like this, it's a good idea to you know, first try things out before you decide to buy them. So here with Oxymate, we can go to their app. And in here, you can see that we got all the design sets that we need in order to basically you know, test things out. So we'll say that I want to you know, design my website uh, very, very quickly. I can just go, for instance, to my menus and then click and drag this guy. Then we can go to our heroes and then just look for an appropriate one. Let's say that I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. And uh, then let's say that I'm going to use uh, maybe like a gallery. And then I can just, you know, bring this guy to the side. And uh, then we can just hit preview to see what our, like, demo page, uh, well, what it's going to look like. And this is uh, totally functional. You can see that we can uh, preview our, like, menus. We can also, like, check the responsiveness to see that actually, well, <laughs> it is responsive. So basically, in just a few clicks, you can test out, uh, well, the core functionalities uh, of Oximate. Also, we can go to their cheat sheet to see what uh, their their classes are all about. So you can see inside in here that we got the spacing, so we can check their uh, padding system. We got the margin, we got typography, sizing, all of these elements that they are using to make the website, well, all those designs uh, truly responsive and uh, adaptive to various uh, screen sizes. So this whole cheat sheet can allow you to basically have a glimpse of all the classes uh, that are available here inside um, Oximate. So uh, the benefit of this system is that you can basically you know, take a quick look first at all these classes and what they do and then simply use them in your page. So if I go to my page and let's say that uh, I'd like to add like more padding to this, uh, to this div, all we need to do is to basically just type you know, that class in and simply you know, add some more padding according to what we can see uh, right here in our cheat sheet. You know, but Oximate is not just about design sets. If you take a good look at these tabs, you can see that there's this Oximate tab. And in here, you get a lot of helpers with the grids and buttons. Of course, most of them are grids. So if you're struggling with creating uh, grids, you can just use one of the predefined ones. So let's say that I'm going to use this grid 28. I'm going to click on it and it's going gonna, it's gonna to get added to my, to my page. So you can see basically this set of divs right here. And uh, this grid, of course, is responsive. So if we go to, say, like less than 768, you can see that it nicely is being stacked vertically. So, uh, you know, it's a good thing to have, especially if you're struggling with uh, with grids. And if you don't know how to use grids here inside uh, Oxygen, you can just take a, take a look at my uh, video on just that. Another interesting uh, feature here in Oxymate is the hover uh, panel. So if I go to the library and then to my design sets, I'm going to look for something uh, that has like a button uh, added to it. So maybe let's go with this one. And uh, let's say that I would like to animate this button, this guy right here. So this is this link wrapper and I'm going to go to this Oximate hover effects. And let's say that I would like to add, uh, I don't know, maybe it's like forward effect. And as you can see, what we have to do is, uh, well, not always, but mostly we have to go through all these steps of, uh, you know, selecting uh, that effect, uh, the background border, and then the color. But in this case, we don't have to. So I'm just going to click on apply the hover effect. And you can see that when we move over this element, it actually changes. So maybe you've already seen these effects uh, in some other YouTube videos. I've also made, an, made a video on how to apply these effects to your, to your buttons and you can uh, check it out if you want to. But here inside Oximate you have all of them uh, ready to go inside this panel and you can apply them in just a matter of a few clicks. This is a very quick overview of uh, Oximate. I know it was brief and there's a lot to cover. Uh, you, can, uh, you can check out uh, their, uh, their plugin on their website and you can go there through the link that you will see in the description below. So uh, if you're looking for like a solid addition to your Oxygen Builder toolset, you should definitely check out uh, Oximate. It really does help in making uh, the design process inside Oxygen Builder uh, faster and I think easier. It really takes away all the guessing game from you know making your distances space. Facing, padding, font size right, and at least for me, that's a great help.
So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Have a nice design.